the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Um, good to be back. I'm going to do a quick show today. Uh, it's, it's real late here, Texas, local time. Uh, we're going to get into the Charlo brothers and uh, what's next for the Charlos. Uh, big win this weekend. And uh, we're still waiting for the pay-per-view numbers to come in. And this is good. It's going to matter, right? Um Especially for well, for both of them, depending on, on what they do. If it comes in really big, um, perhaps they're both pay per view stars. If it if it doesn't, if it disappoints, then they'll be back to Showtime or Fox. I I would imagine. Um, you know, uh, before the fight, I, I predicted one fifty. If it does come in at one fifty, like I predicted, uh, both fights will probably be back on Showtime. Um, Jamal might be a different story. Uh, given, um, you know, who he is, um, who, who, what what side of the street he's on and, and the rest of his division is on. Uh, he may have to find a pay-per-view again. Uh, well, that's why this number is really important for him. And the number is really important for Jamel, too, uh, because, you know, he can go back on pay-per-view, on a Showtime pay-per-view or a Fox pay-per-view against the litany of fighters that, that they have on the PBC side. If this number doesn't do well, well, that, Definitely won't go on pay per view. And, and look, as a boxing fan, I don't want these fights to be a pay per view. All right, because I don't want to pay for them. Yeah, you know, I'm already him and Horn are paying for this Javante Davis versus Leo Santa Cruz fight. It's just too much. There's this fight that I got to pay for. Um, the uh, Tank Davis, uh, the, the Danny Garcia Errol Spence fight. It's just too many fights. Um, you know, ESPN is giving us Lopez, a TV with Lopez and Lomachenko um, on regular ESPN. Um, I get it. They have to recoup costs. There's no gate. These are big money fights, especially the purses these fighters demand. I get why they're on pay per view, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. Um, you know, ESPN has a huge budget, so they can make these things. You know, ESPN needs a, a, a ratings bonanza, um, so they can give us Loma versus Lopez uh, on a regular ESPN. Now, both Charlo brothers. You know, I don't know that Fox or Showtime. I mean, they could. I I don't know if that's really in their budget um, to put that. You know, put these big fights on on regular Fox or Showtime. Now, to get into the Charlo brothers, both Charlo brothers look spectacular. Jamel was our fighter of the week. Um, unified three quarters of the straps.
Option two is if Brian Castano beats uh, Teixeira and takes home the WBO belt, they'll have all four belts on the PBC side, right? That would be a logical fight. It would be for undisputed. But Castano's got to take care of business first. This fight was supposed to happen months and months and months. It was supposed to happen in June, July, and it kept getting delayed and postponed because of COVID. Um, if Castano and Teixeira happen, and Castano wins, so th- th- there's two, right? Th- 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 there's two X factors in there. First, the fight has to happen, which WBO has mandated it and said it has to happen next. So I believe that it will happen next. When that is, I don't know. Uh, they still haven't confirmed a date. I don't want to get into any rumors. And two, Castano has to win. Now, I, I think we will all pick Castano when that fight when it happens. Teixeira just beat Adamas, so maybe, you know, uh, Teixeira is not going to be outclassed, but I, I think Castano is a much better offensive fighter. He, uh, offensively, Castano is strong, powerful, throws beautiful combinations, but he can be hit. He's very hittable. Um, you know, everyone in this 154-pound division does a lot of things really well, but they're all beatable. You know, Castano may be able to run through the division, but he may lose to a bunch of these guys too. Um, so, assuming Castano wins that fight, Charlo Castano is fireworks. That is an awesome offensive fight. Um, you know, Castano's not as strong and tall as, as Rosario, but offensively, he's a better fighter. Offensively, he is more complete. He throws better combinations, crisper combinations. Um, that's going to be a lot. That, that's going to be a fun fight. The third option is obviously, and I think the least attractive option, um, is Erickson Lubin, a rematch with Lubin. Lubin looked good against Goucher. He got wobbled, but he won most of the rounds. I had it 10 to 2 for for um for Lubin. It's and, and either one of look, it's not a bad fight. It's it's two top 10 guys in the division. Um so make the fight, I guess. And it's the mandatory, right? For the WBC. So I'm not opposed to any of these fights. That would be the last one. The first one I'd want to see is either Laura or Castano. It, Right now, since Castano doesn't have the belt, let's do Laura first, right, and then go to Castano, and then do, uh, and then do the, the Erickson Lubin fight. Uh, but all those fights are, are 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 easily makeable. They're all on the PBC side. They're all great fights, and the only one that could potentially be pay per view is the Laura fight. The other two would definitely be on Showtime or Fox. Uh, if this did good, if this did over two hundred twenty five, two hundred fifty thousand pay per views. They may put him on pay-per-view again, because why wouldn't they? They're, they're making their money back end some if they're doing 225, 250. And, and Laura's a good opponent. People like Laura. Laura, you know, I'm a big Laura fan. That's a 50-50 fight. I think people would lean towards um, Charlo given his last performance. Um, but who knows? You know, who knows? Uh, I would probably lean. I, I think Charlo gets out box in that fight, you know, um, I would probably lean towards Laura, but who knows? That's a great fight. It's kind of a 50-50 fight. It's a, it's a great fight. Um, Laura's master class boxer. I'm hoping that fight's next, and I kind of think it will be. Um, I, I don't think Lubin wants to get right back in. Um, and the Castano fight, I think, will happen, but it won't happen next because Castano still has to beat someone, which this fight keeps getting delayed and canceled. But we'll see. If they make that fight, if the Castano um, – the Shara fight gets made sooner rather than later. Maybe they can sign fights next for, un- for undisputed supremacy of the 155 pound division, and that'd be fun. Um, so on to Fought really well, especially from the outside. When he had his jab going, he was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, there was when, when he had, was because he's got a shotgun jab; he just doesn't throw it enough. Um, but what, when he was firing it, Devereshenko had no chance of getting inside. So he kept it in his pocket. Devereshenko got in and did his work. Um, 
but that was that was a masterclass performance by Charlo for the most part. Um, like I said, he it seems like he, he would get I don't know forgetful or, or over you know over aggressive, but he was he was still much more accurate with his power shots. We saw in the uh, Korobov fight and the Brandon Cannon Adams fight that he, he seemed to load up and start missing wildly at times. He wasn't like that in this fight. He was picking his power shots much more much more clean this time. Much cleaner with his power shots. Much more accurate accurate with his power shots. Lending him clean, not getting over aggressive, um, and you know, he it was a good performance. Um, that that was the best we've seen Jamal Charlo look in quite some time, and and it's good because the road ahead is going to be tough. You know, I don't know who they're going to have him fight next. I don't know if they're going to have him keep him on the PBC side with Eubank, or if they're going to try to give him the big money fight that he deserves against either Andre or um, Canelo. Canelo looks like they're not going to they, – they, they're going to not pursue the lawsuit. They're going to let the lawsuit – the lawsuit got dropped because of a clerical issue, and they had up until yesterday to fix that. From what I'm understanding is they didn't fix it, but they can. there's an extension in it. I don't know what's going to happen exactly with that. As we find out more, I'll let you know. But right now it looks like, from what I understand, and this is a fluid situation, uh, Canelo and Gold, uh, is not going to go through with the lawsuit. They, um Perhaps that means he has a fight lined up. I don't know when that is, but if that's figured out, a Canelo Charlo fight is probably, besides Canelo Triple G, and that may be next, Canelo Charlo is the biggest fight that can be made. Now, Charlo would have to go over to the zone, obviously, and make that over there. Um, for that fight, to have that amount of money on the line, and it's not just the money on the line in that fight. If Charlo wins that fight, which he could, Charlo could win that fight. He becomes a superstar of boxing, right? He becomes the 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 heir apparent, like the Floyd Mayweather of this era. He be I, I'm not trying to go that far, but I'm saying he becomes the biggest star in boxing should he beat Canelo, right? And then he can I guess there would be a rematch. He could fight Triple G. He could go up to 68 and fight Jacobs. He could go up to 68 and fight whoever he wanted to. He becomes a star. He becomes that name. Um, that's what's on the line for him, right? It's 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 the biggest money fight. It's a legacy fight, but it's more than that. It's it's the fight that makes him the most, that could make him the biggest star in box. That could make him a pay per view draw. It could make him a million, uh, by pay per view seller every time he fights a, a big fight. That's what's on the line for him. Uh, if he can get that fight, if not, there's also Andre. They've been going back and forth for a while. I don't know if he goes over to the zone. I don't know if Eddie sends Andre because he needs dates too over to. Showtime. Although I think there's a realistic chance now with the financial issues the zone is having that they may want to offset costs and they could send Andre over to fight um, on Showtime or Fox um, and, and let them pay that. You know, um, that's a possibility. And I, I think Andre wants the fight. I think both guys want the fight, and it's, it's a very makeable fight. So those are the two options. If if neither of those can get made, it's probably going to be Eubank. And I don't really know who wants that. That's a one-sided beatdown if Charlo wins. I may pick Charlo to win the other two fights, too. Uh, that's how good Charlo looked. Um, but that's basically where we're at with each guy. But we're going to know more when the actual pay-per-view number comes in. Because if this pay-per-view number comes in big, Jamel Charlo may find a pay-per-view next. And that really ups the ante for Jamal Charlo against Canelo. But it also makes it a bigger fight because we know that Jamal Charlo can sell a fight, sell a pay-per-view on his own. Right? He doesn't need Canelo's name to sell the fight. So what's there's a lot writing on the future of both these guys once that number comes in. Uh, when it comes in, we'll let you know. We'll probably tweet it out or put it on social media, and then we'll do a reaction to it. Uh, but let me know what y'all think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, share. Um, from Texas to the world, uh, this is 3D Boxing. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.